our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Asa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist holding professional record of 21 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Daniel the Hangman Hooker. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the film. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landing by the fans. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Ooh, what a punch. Back and forth we go. Right hand upstairs. Punch coming, it's blocked. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Yeah. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Yeah. Trying to kick the leg out. Beautiful kick. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, nice. Shot attempt to the head here instead. It's blocked by Hook. Oh, wow! Head kick. So 
So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. High level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Hooker. DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. And they separate. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Big kick land. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! And he comes deep. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Stay aggressive. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru and <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jet. What a big time takedown. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nice guillotine to tip here. Nice guillotine. He should be defending right now. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Gets side mount, and now maybe the Von Flu choke will be there. Open St. Prue has got to like that transition there. Oh, he postured up there. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Let's try to establish that jab. Number two. Excellent job last round. Really like the ground control. This round, we want to do the exact same thing. Let's start this off with a big... All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Flips that left hand. 
Big roundhouse now just misses. Hooker gets caught with that punch. Superman punch. Hooker's strike attempt there is blocked. Great upper body movement defensively, slips another strike there, and offensively he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively he's been strong today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter defensively. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Landed a good uppercut there. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Oh, just misses with the kick. Nice slip to avoid the left. A oh, hook to the body here, but strong defense by Hooker. Got clip with the right hand. He's hurt bad. Oh! Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, straight right. How about those five minutes? All right, that's the end of the round. He's got a cut on his cheek from that round. There are certainly worse locations for a cut on the cheek. It's not going to trickle down into the eye. Nonetheless, pretty significant gash. We'll see if the cut man can close it up. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. And what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Nice punch, man. shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's for life. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the front. I mean, right there. Bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That was a thudding lick. The next there with the punch.
trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. All right, side control now. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. He landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. So what a knockout from the UFC lightweight champion here tonight. Under the bright lights, he rises above the pressure and gets it done in a big way to be the UFC lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 26 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of Tears of joy and hard to blame him. We have a new UFC lightweight champion. The celebration is on, and a life's mission comes to a head tonight as he gets it done. He knew he was going to get it done. He told us all he would get it done. I am the best fighter in the world. It is just a matter of time until I get the belt wrapped around my waist tonight. He got that done.